You need an answer. Take the time to look around. A world record super typhoon in the Philippines. A biblical flood in Colorado. Four feet of snow in South Dakota killing over 100,000 cattle. Record tornado outbreaks. A major earthquake developing a tsunami that causes a nuclear accident in Japan. A huge meteorite exploding over Russia. One in South America. Another over the southern U.S. And just recently over Glendale, California. Sinkholes opening up and swallowing homes, people, huge pastures. The list goes on and on, people. I could go on for probably all day long giving you a list of the mass animal deaths washing ashore daily. Take the time to look around. It's not rocket science. Rivers and lakes turning blood red. Do a Google search. You'll be amazed. China, the Netherlands, Texas, the list goes on. The government buying up billions of rounds of ammunition. FEMA camps. Also buying up huge amounts of coffins. For what natural disaster are they planning for? Also building up government underground cities in the Ozarks, underneath the Denver airport. Not so secret anymore. Do a search on Google. Take the time to look around. Do not be distracted by the sideshow circus that goes on the daily media in America. Tear yourselves away from Dancing with the Stars, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, and all the useless information that just abounds out there. How many of you are aware of chemtrails and what they are? Start doing some research. You're breathing in chemicals, people. Take the time to look around. A major increase of earthquakes. What was bad is now considered good, and what was good is now considered bad. Your world has been turned upside down. Take the time to look around. People losing their jobs. People losing their health insurance. People losing their benefits. Your rights are being taken away. People on YouTube are discovering trucks with hundreds of martial law signs in the back of them. What are they preparing for? They know something that the general public doesn't. They have known it for quite some time. Check out the seed vault up north. They're saving all the seeds of all the species of plants, burying them deep into the ground in a vault. Are they preparing? Ask a stupid question, get a stupid answer. Is there an answer? There is an answer. Take the time to look around. This is just the tip of the iceberg. It doesn't matter who you are. You can feel something changing. You know something's coming. Deep down in your soul, you know it to be true. And let's not forget the ever-present threat of nuclear war, the Middle East. Ask yourself a question. Why always the Middle East? Why always Israel? Take the time to look around. There is an answer. The answer will not come from the likes of Nostradamus, Edgar Cayce, or your general media. There has been information all along that has predicted every single one of these things and many more and also good things. But too many of you don't want to put any stock in this information at all because you don't 
take the time to check it out. Now be honest, how many of you have actually read the Bible? Probably not a lot, but its prediction rate has been 100%. And yet, I will get arguments from people to say the Bible contradicts itself. The Bible was written by all kinds of different men, and it, it uh, it's convoluted. And yet these are the people who will not read the Bible and have not read the Bible. Oh, they'll claim to have read the Bible, but when you actually check them out, they can't back it up. They have not read it. Do not listen to those who lie. Politicians lie to you. Do you like that? Then why listen to another liar? The government has been lying. The media has been lying. There are all kinds of things that are about to occur in this world, and you need to be prepared for them. There is an answer. Do you want to survive? For instance, there are truths in the Bible that aren't commonly known. America is in the Bible. Daniel had a dream. Now, Daniel's dream involved animals, and each animal was represented by a country. The bear was Russia. The dragon was China. The lion was Britain. But the lion had eagle's wings. And later on in Daniel's dream, the lion's eagle's wings, the eagle's wings departed from the lion. America departed from England. That's where we originally came from. Here is another truth for you people who won't read the Bible. Isaiah 40, 22. It is he who sits on the circle of the earth. The circle of the earth. The Bible knew that the earth was round before any humans did. There you go. There's another thing for you. That's just a small tip of the iceberg. I suggest you watch a wonderful film called The Daniel Project, and you'll see much, much, much more than that. I'm sure you also know about Noah's Ark, and you're thinking, ah, it didn't happen. But it did. There were sea fossils found up at the very top part of the Himalayan mountains of sea creatures from long ago. How else did they get there? And why, most importantly, did the flood have to happen? Have I piqued your interest? I'm sure I have. And I'm sure there are those of you who would still want to argue after not having read the Bible. But let's jump back to recent times here. The time is short. You do not have a lot of time to research this. You have to search your heart. Most of all, don't harden yourself to these facts. If there is a question in your mind, you need to search your heart now. Jesus died for your sins. Jesus is a covering for you during this calamity, this sudden destruction that is about to occur. He will supernaturally protect you during this end time. Call on his name. Ask for forgiveness. Repent of your sins. Everybody has sinned. No one is perfect. The only one who has ever been perfect is Jesus, whom died for all our sins. That's the reason he was nailed to the cross. God gave his only begotten son so that we might have eternal life with him in a perfect world, in a perfect situation. No more death, no more sadness, no more sorrow. He is the only one who offers redemption. The others don't. He is the only one that died and came back to life. He is the ultimate superhero. You're going to read comic books about Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man, and the Hulk. 
But in actuality, there has been a real life superhero. He is our savior. You do not want to be here when the calamities and the sudden destruction comes down. Don't believe me? Search out dreams on YouTube. Dreams and visions. The rapture. I'm sure if you haven't read the Bible, you're not even sure what the rapture is, or maybe you've seen it in popular culture and just assume that it's, it's a, uh, a myth. It's not. It's very real. It was foreshadowed as far as back as Adam and Eve. When Jesus decides to take his church home, which is us, Christians, out of this mess before the calamity hits, the church is often referred to as the Bride of Christ. When God created a bride for Adam, he made Adam fall asleep and took Eve from a rib and created Eve out of Adam's side. At the crucifixion, Jesus was pierced in his side and God put him asleep for three days and raised him up for his church. The church is his bride. That is a foreshadowing of the rapture. This could be your only warning about what's to come and what you should do. You should accept Christ into your life. Repent of your sins. Take the time to look around. Don't believe me. Start doing searches. I don't think you really have to look around. I think you know it's already occurring. Think about this. When you're going through your day and you hear another story of something that's occurred, you'll remember this message. You remember this message. Jesus is speaking to you. He loves you. He does not want you to perish. I pray in Jesus' mighty name that you gather something from this video and you take it to heart today. Time is short. God bless you.